Hi, welcome to the Open Learning Home Moodle. This is the introduction. I'll be walking you through all these steps in making the website. Side note about the software, it's called MindMeister. It's uh, a mind mapping software and it's really useful for seeing big concepts in the big picture. So the first step is we'll be doing the basics. The basics involves creating a new user and creating a course. Next, we'll be adding a resource. We can add a picture, add a YouTube video, add some HTML, either as a label, a text page, or a web page, add a worksheet, add multimedia worksheet, add a mind map like the one we're currently using, and finally, we'll organize by printing it up Moodle and finalize it. We can add an activity. We can get interactive with our students by having a forum where they can discuss their issues. They can add a glossary. They can add a wiki where they can work together collaboratively. We can get feedback from our course. We can use choice to pick a class winner and we can add a chat or a student blog. We can add an assignment, we can add a quiz that is self-marking, and we can add a lesson. So already with these steps we can see how Moodle encapsulates everything that we would want to do in a classroom. Over here we're getting more advanced by unleashing the true power of Moodle. We're going to be adding games for students. There's a software called Hot Potatoes, which you can add a J-match, a self-marking gap fill, a self-marking crossword puzzle, a self-marking mixed up word, a self-marking multiple choice quiz, and save the scores in Moodle using SCORM. We can also add an alien abduction game. We'll be adding a garbage bin, Bish Bash Bosh, a monster memory game, and a very popular Fling the Teacher game. After that, we'll be covering multi adding multimedia. We'll be um, adding sound and editing using a free software called Audacity. <clears throat> we'll be um, making our own movies with the free Windows Movie Maker. We'll be adding Google Maps, Voki is, um, well you've seen it in the opening page with the, the Moodle Poodle. Uh, you can add a storybook and a Wordle. I think kids will have a lot of fun playing with these interactive elements. And finally for grading, we can grade, grade assignments, grade quizzes, and grade the hot potato games. So that's a quick overview of how we can incorporate Moodle into the class. We can do basics, add a resource, add an activity, add a game, add some multimedia content, and use it all to be graded. I'll see you inside.